Well, it's a, it was a pretty productive day today. I'm pretty happy with things, how they went. Uh, however, I didn't get the last job that I wanted done done. And I've learned over the years that when I start to get tired, my kind of creative juices quit flowing and it's better just to quit, call it a day than to half-ass something. So my last problem was the exhaust. I'll talk about that more here in a second. But here is the good news. The motor is in. Um, it actually went pretty easy. I did the almost the exact same uh, engine mounts that I did on the, the very first Kawasaki build that I did. Uh, I just build a rail for it and that keeps um, both sides perfectly aligned and that takes out one dimension out of trying to get the thing aligned. So the engine is in, it's aligned, all good there. As Soon as the engine was uh, placed, I started just attaching stuff. Uh, the exhaust manifold, you can see with all the nine bolts that we talked about earlier, the nine bolts, the turbo, the exhaust section coming over, I don't know what this thing is called, a cross pipe or something, then the muffler over there, that's all in. Everything went good. Remember my thing talking about um, how I put labels on the ends of the hose? Well, I didn't put labels on this one. <laughs> it's just like, it's this weird shaped thing. I'm pretty sure it comes down here, but I can't find the other port to where that goes. So I got to go look at the, the Honda manual tonight and see if I can figure out what that particular hose is. Um, if y'all know the Hondas, there's kind of they're kind of known to be super quiet. And man, uh, the water box or the muffler on this thing it was ginormous. It, I swear the thing was about four feet long. So uh, let's talk about that for a little bit. So here is um, I don't know what that is, foot and a half long. Well, this was cut out of it already. So you can see that thing was almost twice as long as what's in there, and there was no way of fitting that. So I cut it out, um, welded a new cap on it. And then, here, so here is my other problem, is the way that the engine is sitting down a little bit slightly lower, this whole thing was kind of too far up and I couldn't, these are all fixed. That's fixed, that's fixed, and this is fixed. Well, I couldn't get this, the water box to clear the boat down here. So I had to shorten, I had to shorten this rubber coupling up as much as I possibly could, but was still making the, um, the hose clamps still be able to grab something as, as well as I had to start cutting the flange that's welded on the muffler uh, so to make that thing slide up as much to clear the bottom. Even with that, I still, I actually, <laughs> Here's how I fabricated. Um, it still was having a hard time clearing down there. So I literally grabbed a chunk of pipe and gave it a couple good wax to put a little dimple on it so that it would be able to clear and sit down there. I welded, I knew that I wanted to weld the end cap on there before I did that so it would hold its shape. Um, and so anyway, that's, that's how I dealt with that. The other option was, there really was no other option unless I wanted to start cutting out some of the engine rails to make that clear or could have just cut the whole damn thing and um, I didn't neither of those sounded like good ideas to me so I shortened up that rubber coupling as much as I could put a, di a dimple on the bottom side of it and it's still you can kind of see it's still sitting a little cockeyed I'm okay with that um, other things on this side here's the uh, the airline to the air filter that feeds the turbo here's the uh, the main pipe um, uh, it goes through the heat exchanger, goes through the heat exchanger, and then goes up into the manifold. I don't have that on. That's pretty simple. Um, I kind of am delaying that because I, I got to build a throttle cable for it, and you can't get to that with that manifold on there. So I'm just going to keep it off for now. So this was the last thing is I still got to build an, an exit. Let me get this thing off there. I still got to build an exit for the exhaust to go outside the boat. And one thing that I have come to learn is that on this, um, th there on the 3.3 uh, the vice, the um, skookum, this is actually a chamber. So you get in the skookum, you could just cut a hole out right here and, and then put your exhaust out of there. However, that's a hollow chamber and you can't get to that. So, because it's because this whole swim step is welded on to a 
flat transom. So if I drill the hole right here, it's going nowhere. It's just going into that cavity. So um, I could go through, put a pipe out through both of them. Um, but I think I'm just gonna somehow make it work that it exits out here. That's where um, it's just flat and it would come out um, probably somewhere in here at the, at the, after the boat. So I just, uh, I ran them out, out of my creative juices and didn't feel like tackling that problem today. So I'm gonna call it quits for the afternoon and go eat some dinner <laughs> and think about it and look at the manual and try to figure out where that one hose attaches to. I found the one spot, but I couldn't find the other one. So overall, I'm really happy that the motor is in. And uh, man, other than that, it's going to go fairly quick from here on out. I don't think the wiring harness is going to take long at all. Honestly, it's just kind of plug it in and go. Just got to probably have to build a few brackets for it. I am going to um, reuse and refurbish the fuel tank that's out of the Honda because these things are fairly fuel efficient. I don't need to go bigger. It's already built. It's got all the brackets for it, for the fuel pump, the sending unit, all that good stuff. So I am just, I'm just going to reuse that if there's room for it over there. Um, if there's not, I haven't even tried it yet, then I will probably have to build a fuel tank from scratch. Here's the pro tip of the day. Grab a, a piece of plywood, just any scrap thing. Um, and it, it's much easier on your knees than, than, uh, than working on this kind of stuff. So that's my, my tip of the day. What else do I got? That's about it. I'm going to sign out. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. And as always, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.